Sprite? Oh, this is our water. Hey, we're on live. We're live on, we're live on Revolutionary Cam. He's just sipping on Amen. 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 All right. So those who went up to do that bridge, uh, the Kano would be work. Uh, how was it? Great. Great. You enjoyed it? Yes. Okay. You get to burn some calories, get to burn some fat and all that. For so all the little food you've been eating <laughs> throughout the entire period, yeah, that's a very good time to burn all of that. And I'm, I'm proud of everyone. Thank especially, you. Especially your mother's here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone survived. That was good. That was good. Was anybody scared? To be honest. Come on. Raise your hand. Yeah, oh, I was. Oh, you were <laughs> Got on behind us and start shaking the rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many did you guys go on? Uh -huh. We went on three, right? Seven. Seven. It was seven. Yeah. Yeah. So how many did we do when we cut off the left? Three. I think it's three. Yeah. One, three. two, three. You okay. did the, the chicken exit, but that's fine though. You know, you get, you have, you have, you have, um, so the chicken exit. <laughs> But see, but, you know, from, yeah, we leave folks so good, uh, but uh, yeah, we want everybody else to do it. Uh, so perfect, I'm glad y'all came. Uh, yeah, you can share with, uh, with um, uh, you can share with um, Sharon and uh, Sonia. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we record everything, so people can go back and look at everything that we did. Like a little bit, we record everything and took a lot of pictures. Uh, that way we can share the fun for the adventure. Right. Exactly. Okay. Good. I want to talk about a, a very particular tree that um, you yeah, probably, if you, I don't know if you've seen it, if you know it, but I want to show you. I like to call it the the multi-purpose tree. Okay. The multi-purpose tree, and that's the the palm tree. The palm tree. There's a lot of palm trees that's grown around this area. And uh, you've seen it, and I'm going to point the trees that you see down there. Can you see the trees? Yes. On my right, but it's on your left. The tree. So that is the palm tree. It is a multi purpose, and it's believed to have some magical powers traditionally. Yes. From the crown of the tree to the trunk all the way down is useful. Every part of it is useful. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you video. So if you look at the the leaves or the vines that connect the leaves, the vine is what we use to make brooms for our home. Right. Okay. And then after the after the vine you have the the branches. The branches, we weave, we weave baskets out of it. And then on the same crown, there is a, a kind of a flower, but it's, it's, it's brownish. When you put smoke in it, and the smoke comes up, it's fly repellent and insect repellent. Wow. Yes, so that is about the top. But then when you come to the fruit itself, the palm fruit, Bamboo. The first thing that you get out of it, we make palm nut soup. Oh, okay. Mm. Palm nut soup is good when it goes with fufu. Yes. Ah. <laughs> yes, palm nut soup. And then, if you, you can get palm nut oil from it. Yes. It's a red oil that they use to prepare the red red. Yeah. The bean stew. Yeah. Yes, the red oil. You get it from palm? Yes. Oh. And then, so that's how. You, so the fruit is reddish, and uh, you have to boil the fruit. Okay. So when you boil the fruit, then um, the, the, you have to pound it to get a chaff from the fruit, and so that chaff you make the soup out of. And the same chaff, if you keep on boiling it, you can make the palm oil from it. And after you've gotten the chaff, the chaff is no waste. If you leave the chaff there for a while, it can grow mushrooms. And then also, after you've gotten the chaff, there's a kennel that surrounds it. And that kennel, if you crack open it, there's a nut in the inside. And that nut, you can prepare oil 
like a cooking oil or vegetable oil to so put out of it and then the shell that you can open to open the kennel um, the kennel um, the shell you know the, the blacksmith use it as fuel it burns really like coal it burns really really well and then also after you've gotten that and then the tree start bearing fruits because it can bear fruits for years when it stop when you put it down that is where we tap palm wine out of it okay. yeah and you don't cut into the tree right. you have to take it out from the roots mm -hmm. and once you take it out from the roots you put it down you need to tilt it in a way and then underneath when the tree is falling the trunk when it's falling <coughs> sorry when it's falling on the floor you cut a hole like a pen top or pen tip hole and then under the roof and then on the top you, you cut a square um, shaped hole and then you put fire you set fire on top and then when the fire is hot you cover it and then the tip you pull like a bamboo stick shaped in the pen tip you put it there and you put a container underneath you leave it overnight by the time you come there's juice a white juice that comes out of the tree and that's the palm wine Wow. Okay. And that same palm wine, you can turn it into a very hard spirit or liquor oh. called Akpateshi. When it goes through um, fermentation and condensation, um, the, when you heat it up, the vapor that comes out of it, you can have a very pure white liquor like vodka. Ah. And it's very, very strong, or what you want to call moonshine. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> are, are ever clear. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And so that is where you get it. How do you know this information? <laughs> <laughs> is that cocoa drying? Yes, lumber? that's cocoa drying. Yeah, we just drove past cocoa. Some of those lumber. So all those lumber are from um, part of the, um, we call it the, the trees that are going to be used processed into um, sawmill, going to take to the sawmill for furniture, for construction and all that stuff. Yeah. Dharma's uh, kind of big on lumber, right? Yes. Based on Timber and lumber, yes. Maybe uh, based on... Uh... Yes. And so when the tree, when you've finished tapping the palm wine, and you leave the tree over there for some couple of days or months, the tree also starts growing mushrooms. Oh, the tree starts growing mushrooms? Yes. Mm. Yes. And then the last thing, the last thing that comes up, the, the last byproduct, the last byproduct from the tree are big maggots, huge ones. And big, big what? Maggots. Maggots? Yes. We call them a worm. They got a worm. A worm. Yeah, a worm. Yes. And you could eat them. They are very sweet. Just roast them. That, 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 that doesn't sound so good. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 delicious. I want to try one. Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't find them on the restaurant menu. You don't find them. No, no, I mean, like, one of these sweets. Yeah, that's, that's what you get. So that's the last thing. And so the reason why they also the believe that all the uses of the tree. Um, in certain parts of Ghana, in certain tribes, um, you know, when they weave the basket, when they prepare certain rituals, they use a basket. In that, in certain culture, they can actually, you know, a basket is hollow, it's, it's not. If you put water in, uh, inside, it will, it will drain out. By certain traditions, they can actually retain water in it because it goes through certain rituals and then they can actually, they can hold water. And then also, during certain naming ceremonies, they use the palm tree. She wouldn't find the animals. The keys she would. The animals get the gold Oh, okay. Anybody want curry goat? Curry goat. And then for mine. So the palm tree is a very useful one. Yeah, the goat is a lot. And from this area, you see a lot of women who are actually preparing the palm oil. Um, and all that. This one right here. You will see that. Yeah, if you look on my right, on your right side, that's my left side. These are the palm trees that you see here. Are they in season? Do they have? Is this time for the best fruit? Yeah, the best fruit. Yeah. So, 
school fee. Yes. The uh, what type of work does a man do? What type of work? Yeah. Good question. Work? Let's, let's, they do a lot of let, let's ask, let's, let's ask, let's ask Rosemary. They make babies. Let's ask Rosemary. Yes. What else do let's ask Rosemary. So, in, in, along the coast. Hey, 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 hey. I'm on the other side. I go. Amen. I go. Amen. Okay, so along the coast, one of the main occupations of the men is fishing. The men are the ones who go fishing. The women don't go fishing. So when the men go fishing and they bring in the fish, they give it to their wives and the women, yeah, and then they do, do the selling because the women are good with money. Uh -huh, yeah, what you so they yeah, yeah. and also <laughs> and also they, they preserve the fish. The, the, so there are a few main ways of preserving the fish: one, smoking the fish, um, salting the fish, and then drying the fish. So. Before we had cold stores where to keep the fish, there were three main ways of preserving the fish. And so in Ghana, a lot of women, a lot of us eat smoked fish. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that's one of the main. And then in this part of the region, they are mostly farmers. So they farm. So the men. And the women too as well. But most often you have men and the women go. To most often, yeah. And then apart from farming, you have those who are into carpentry. And then those who want to the oil pump. So this is the oil pump processing that you you, you drive it past. And all that. Some of these are organized groups, women and men, or a family units that are doing that. So these are some of the things. And then they have those who are into masonry and building. Masonry. Yes. Okay. Yes. And those the, Yes. Mechanics. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Carpenters. Show. And all that. So basically that's it, yeah.